So hey y'all, it's uh, Monday and I'm gonna do something today that I never get to do. Um, I'm going to take my grandson to Penton Farms Pumpkin Patch, which is literally like 10 minutes from me. So what I have to do is time it perfectly because I never, ever, ever get away from the farm for a whole day because I have the animals but I also have the fawns and they require feeding certain times. So what I have to do is time it just perfectly. And I'm going to feed and then I've got a certain amount of time. If everybody's doing good, then I can be away. So then I'm gonna put my grandson in the car and we're going to the pumpkin patch. So come on, let's go. <laughs> Just give me that countryside Good morning guys um, So today is the greenhouse day I know yesterday we talked about planting some things in the lazy garden So today we're going to plant in my trays in the greenhouse But first I got to clean it out because you know it's been a long hot summer and it has gotten filthy in there and disorganized and so i can't do anything until it's organized and i feel some sprinkles of rain <laughs> Okay, so um, there's lots of evidence of spiders in the greenhouse. So if you know me, you know I don't like spiders at all. Horrified of spiders. So I'm being very, very careful in there. It, it's not that it's um, just a bunch of stuff in there. It's just that it's a little disorganized where I've just kind of went in and got stuff and just left stuff laying around. And um, I'm a little bit, uh, I don't want to say OCD about it, but I can't work in disorganization. So I've got to get it organized and make it look good. And then I can plant some stuff. So sorry, I don't have um, a good way to video in here. Um, it, and this is the, really the only place I can sit the camera so that it can see what I'm doing. But I'm filling these little trays here and you know, I'm just going to basically uh, plant seeds and I'm inside the greenhouse and get them started. I am going to plant the collard seeds in a little bigger tray, but everything else, I've got these little tiny ones. And then, you know, we can get them out and harden them off. But um, I got it organized a little better in here. I really need to bring a trash can in here. And, and I will, but, um, but basically it's just filling the pot and soil. Now, um, so I watched um, Haas Tools, I watched their videos on planting these tiny seeds. And I think that this is why, and I, I know I told you in the video yesterday, I, I really think this is why that I've not had good luck with the fall vegetables is because the seeds are so tiny and I tend to plant them too deep. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to just kind of water in the pot and so, the um, organic seed starting mix. And I'm going to, I'm going to water it in and then I'm just going to lay the tiny seeds on top and then put some perlite over it. And I think that this may work. Now it's trial and error with me. So we shall see how good it works. If it does, I'll be the happiest woman on earth. If it don't work, I'll try again. 
um, I don't get really upset over stuff like that. What I do get upset over, though, is I'm one of those people that if I plant something and it creates a plant and, you know, some things you just got to thin out, I have a hard time doing that. I don't want to kill a plant. And I know there's other people out there like me on that. Comment. Let me know who you are. Because I know you're out there. But I do not like to waste plants. I just think that I grew it from a seed. I need to let it fulfill its duty and feed me and my family. So sometimes I'm just kind of overrun with plants because I plant too much. But... Um, that's what we're doing this morning. We're planting um, in the greenhouse and all those seeds that we talked about yesterday, I'm going to go ahead and get them in here. Okay, I've got the um, pot and soil or the seed starter mix. I've got it um, damp in here. So let's put some seeds in. <music> a method to my madness. I've got cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, and carrots. So let's start with cauliflower. All right, so the cauliflower is going to be 65 days. Come on in, Uno. Next is cabbage. Let's grow some cabbage. And the carrot seeds are really tiny. They almost look like a little flower seed. Reminds me of putting powdered sugar on a funnel cake. And I love funnel cakes. Perlite is volcanic ash, but it's white. All right. My job is done. I'm going to get cleaned up here, and when things start sprouting, I'll bring you in and show you again. Okay guys, so when you first walk into Penton Farms, the first thing you see is all the pumpkins. Look at the pumpkin displays. And there's just um, loads and loads of pumpkins here. And of course, um, this is right inside the door. And over there is the snack shack. And I'm going to be hitting the snack, the snack shack first because I am starved. I came at lunchtime. I want a funnel cake. Just be a normal kid. <laughs> He's got to be super child. <laughs> I just wonder if this Emu's name is Nugget. Is your name Nugget? <laughs> <laughs> 
to pet you or are you going to bite me? Will it let you pet it? Oh my gosh, they feel so different than I expected. Oh wow, this is the first time I've petted an emu. Is petted a oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay y'all, now I know why. Brooke and Jason love Nuggets so much. That is an amazing bird right there. So we're looking for our pumpkins.